Hi everyone, I'm Rita LaVon and welcome to my channel at LaVille Share. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in and if you're not already a subscriber, I ask that you click on the red box in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, I'm not sure if you all can hear it, but I know you all can probably see the blind, um, or well, excuse me, the curtain moving. So I have my fan on, but I do have my microphone on, so I'm hoping that um, the microphone will pick up more of my voice. Um, I'm sure the fan will still be there in the background, but um, just wanted to let y'all know. Or this video may be overly loud. Today is shampoo day, because as I say, you wash your clothes, you shampoo your hair. And I learned that from cosmetology school. So this is coming from a cosmetology school graduate. And I also did go to state board. And I also did work in a salon. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but any uh, way, this is the way that my hair looks currently. I'm going to start um, moving in every time like I do a video. So you all can actually like see my curls like close up. Um... So yeah, today was shampoo day and I used a new shampoo and conditioner and I want to talk to you all about it. Um, so I used the Miel brand and as you all know, or maybe you don't know, because maybe this is your first time um, listening to one of my videos, but I have used the Miel product line in the past. So I'm going to show you all just for reference what I've um, already used. This is um, the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. I've been using that for about maybe a month or so, maybe. Um, and then this Miel White Peony Leave-In Conditioner. Now I've been using this. Whew, it's been some some months because it's it's almost gone. Whew, I probably I don't know. I mean it's been months and months. Um, so I've had that for a while, and I love both of those products. But both of those products are part of the pomegranate and honey hairline from Miel um, and she has a product line called Rosemary and Mint and I've always wanted to buy um, the products from that line but I didn't want to have to spend a whole bunch of money to actually purchase them so at my uh, local beauty supply store they have these little um, I call them like trial size and I saw it but for the pomegranate and honey they only had the shampoo. They didn't have the conditioner. So I was like, okay, that's not going to work. So what else can I do? So then I saw that um, she has the rosemary and mint line. And for that one, they did have the trial size of the shampoo and conditioner. And those were the only two products that I purchased. So I'm going to show you these now. So this is the little trial size. Now these cost like $2 and some change at my local beauty supply store. Uh, this one is the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. And then this one is the Rosemary Mint Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. So let's see what it says on the back as far as the shampoo. It says, instantly nourish and clean dry, weak, brittle hair with this scalp tingling strengthening shampoo. It was developed to gently cleanse while providing key nutrients and intense moisture to the hair with unraveled slip. Okay. Now, for this shampoo, for me using it for the first time, I shampooed my hair twice with this, and this was the only shampoo that I used. I liked it. Now, of course, this is just my first time, but um, it gave me great suds. Now, mind you, I shampoo my hair once a week. And my hair doesn't necessarily like get real dirty or anything. Um, I've noticed since having natural hair, like I just feel like my hair isn't as dirty. Like I don't have a lot of like product buildup or anything like that. Um, it, it's just, it's just like every time I shampoo my hair, it's just, it's just already clean almost. I mean, it still has products that like I've used in it, you know, every you know other day or so, but. There's not a lot of like product buildup in this shampoo. It seemed to work really well. Um, and as far as the first time user, um, I say a thumbs up on it. Um, now, with this strengthening leave-in conditioner, um, unfortunately, I cannot say the same. So, let me see what it says on the back. Um, let's see. It's the perfect complement for the shampoo. 
It's infused with biotin and rosemary and this leave-in hydrates while protecting and moisturizing. So this is a very thick shampoo, excuse me, this is a very thick conditioner. And I was hoping that I would put this conditioner on and it would be like a detangler. Cause like my hair doesn't get like tangled that much, but for my conditioners, I like to be able to put on my conditioner and um, you know, I can just kind of slip my hands through and it just feels like I don't have to do much as far as like, you know, any type of detangling. That is not what happened with this. I felt like when I put it on, it was just there, just like an average conditioner, but I don't want an average conditioner. I want a, a step above conditioner. Um, and you know, I kept putting more and more on and I used my detangling brush, but it just, I don't know, it just didn't give me what I wanted. So I rinsed it out and I look, I put back on my Carol's Daughter uh, curl quenching conditioner. Uh, I've been using this product with the curl quenching shampoo for probably about two months now. So I just went and got my old faithful and put it back on. And of course, as I have said before in previous videos, that conditioner, it is truly like, I'm not sure the word to use, but if you were looking for a conditioner where when you put it on, you don't have to do much work, that's the conditioner for you. So I just uh, rinsed out the meal and put on my Carol's Daughter and I was happy again because I'm not sure what it was. Um, it does say leave-in conditioner, but usually with leave-in conditioners, they, um, they, they tend to be more... Um, uh, watery or like just kind of loose base this one was very thick so it was surprising but um I, I, don't, I don't know it just it just wasn't for me uh so i would give a thumbs up for the shampoo but for my liking for the conditioner i would give a thumbs down because i definitely prefer a more um detangling type conditioner um so those were the two new products that I used today for my shampoo day. And I just wanted to come on and uh, share that information with you all. Um, I did record while I was um, doing my hair, like after I had shampooed it. So um, that's going to be later on in this video. But I just wanted to come on and show you all what my hair looks like. It is dry now, as you can see. Uh, shrinkage is real because usually my hair tends to be a little bit more high up, but uh, because I actually did my hair today, you know, it's just, you know, shrinkage is real, y'all. All my natural girls know, you know, especially the first day you do your hair, it's like, ooh. And mind you, I sit under a hooded dryer. Um, I don't have the arm strength to be using a diffuser and going like this for however long. It's just so much easier for me to get under a hooded dryer because my arm gonna mess around and fall off and I don't have time for that but um yeah so I just wanted to come on for a minute and share that with you all um here we are in July of 2023 I have been natural since November of 2022 um, because I did it like the week before Thanksgiving I am still enjoying this journey um yeah just want to come on for a minute and just share that with you all and I hope you all have enjoyed the video so far and stay tuned because you're going to see the step-by-step -step of me actually doing the styling portion of my hair. I'll see you all in a minute.
you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed that step-by-step -step of me styling my hair. And while you are here and before you go, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe so that I can get this message out into the world. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Those links are always in the description box. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.